Hey party people and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Torn Antoinette and today we are getting into part two of my trip to Senegal. So this is the day that Naisha and I have at the spa at the Rhino Resort, a luxury hotel and spa in Sali. So the premises is so beautiful. I think if you checked out part one, I gave you a little bit more of a tour. So today we're just arriving, getting checked in and getting ready for our massages. So I booked the forehand massage and you guys, if you're going, it is a must have experience. Um, it was about $75 or 50,000 Sefa. And this is kind of our arriving and getting ready. Okay, we have to put our things in a locker. Locker 28 and change into our bathing suits. So here we go, uh, probably. So they gave us a robe and it has like a thong and um, this is the thong and shoes. So we have to hurry. Naisha's reading Viola Davis memoir. Go pick that up. And I am reading Janet Jackson. Yes, yes. And we're finished. So I didn't actually get to record the massage because there weren't cameras allowed in that area, but it was a wonderful experience. I highly recommend. The only thing I would note um, that I noted about my experience at least was that I had to ask for like a blanket or a sheet to cover my breasts when they flipped me over. But other than that, it was, they were very professional. Like they were not unprofessional in any way. Um, but I did kind of notice I had to put in that request. We also had time to grab lunch at Jomo Beach because we booked the massage, which comes to like 30 minutes in the spa. And then we booked um, like an additional three hours at the spa just to like spend in the pool area. So that's what we did. We grabbed lunch and then we headed on back. This is actually the restaurant that T took us to that first day. Those are the pictures from that first day. And you know, if there's one thing we're going to do is rep Howard University. Okay. So I had like a fried fish with, um, it's, I think in, we would call it like a gravy, like an onion based gravy sauce. It was really good. Everything was really fresh. I did not eat a bad thing while I was in Senegal. Um, if you're vegan or vegetarian, you might want to look out for Naisha's plate. Because Naisha is vegan and she only had vegan options. And you know it's good when I dance, okay? When I dance, you know it's good. So I topped off dinner with dessert and it was creme brulee. After this, we walked back to the spa so we get in the water. When you are in the shade, it is the most wonderful place on earth. But when that sun is hitting you, We were burning up. <laughs> we were burning up, okay? And it was very, very hot. So now we are going into the spa area where they have the pools. And they had multiple pools. We brought down like our books and our magazine, but neither of us really touched it. Um, nor did we like use our phones while we were in there. We legit just like relaxed. And the time went by so fast. We were, we were so sad that we, we had to leave. I mean, just look at how beautiful it is. And it is kind of like small. It's not very big. But when I tell you, when you walk down there, like it, it's really nice. Later that night, we went to the restaurant right by our Airbnb. I think it's called La Pirogue. Pido, I don't know how to say that in French. My apologies. But this was my favorite restaurant of the entire trip. Like, I think I went here every night for dinner. <laughs> like, I loved it that much. This was my first night eating there, and then I just went back repeatedly. So I had brochette de lot, which was like fish skewers Ooh, and so vegetables. Good. And in the future, this was my first night, so I didn't know to order rice but in the future i would order like a side of rice and when i tell y'all okay it was my favorite thing it was my favorite thing next day day three we're at the african safari so we woke up early 
connected. We got picked up and we went and grabbed breakfast with T's family. They had all sorts of jams and um, assortments that you could purchase. I think Naisha bought a jam and she ate it with like some bread. She bought extra bread so that she could eat it. Um, the setting was really nice. There were some cows like right to the left. I wasn't going to mess with them cows. Everyone else did, so I don't really have any footage of them. But they were like outside on the street area. Um, and they were white and cool. Um, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to go. So I just sat there um, and kind of waited for our food and, and whatnot. I had Cafe Ole, which is coffee with milk. <laughs> and all of the coffee was delicious. Like everything was fresh, like the croissants. I think we also had like an apple turnover dish and apple pastries are my jam. It was wonderful and then this is like a ginger drink it was very spicy and it cleared me out really good <laughs> I think a lot of people kind of struggled with it but um it was not for the faint of heart so yeah delicious nonetheless um this is the entrance to the safari and the one thing I regret not getting as a souvenir was one of the sculptures of the trees they are so beautiful and ginormous. I wish I had one to like bring home. Now we begin our safari. I don't remember how much a safari cost exactly, but I'm pretty, mm, actually, I'm not gonna guess. Maybe it was 20,000 Sefa. I'll double check with T. The first thing we saw on our entry was a tortoise. And then we turned around and saw the hyenas, Mufasa, who said again, Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. I'm childish. I'm not going to narrate the whole safari though. So let's just be on our way and enjoy the animals. Once our safari wrapped, we grabbed lunch. And again, the food top tier. Like, I don't know what we do to our food in the States, but everything in Senegal was fresh and delicious. Naisha had the falafel, and I think this was the most dense meal that she had. I had the curry shrimp with rice and plantains, and the plate was scraped clean, okay? They tell you not to feed the animals, but someone like left, you know, they left and they had to clear the table. Monkey came by, grabbed the pizza, y'all. <laughs> grabbed the pizza. After this, we were pretty exhausted, so we chilled. And then the next day, we were going to Dakar. Why we treat each other in this way? Y'all, they playing maids. What? Oh, is it? Is it both of the fun? Oh, okay. But still, Mays made it to Senegal, y'all. And no matter how it's said or done, oh, 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 we are one. Dun, dun, dun. I think we need a mask. I'm not sure. What? <laughs> it's beautiful. Very grand entrance into the museum, you guys. And fun fact, it rained like two or three days while we were there and it was a really big deal because it rarely rains so the fact that it rained on our trip was like wow it was beautiful though um also if you noticed that picasso and dakar banner did you know that picasso had a slew of art inspired by dakar and a visit there 
I did not. Um, I don't think the exhibit was showing at the time, but the banner was like still present. Um, I think it had just passed. So this is our wonderful tour guide. I do not recall her name. Please forgive me. But she showed us around. And there is something that will be shown uh, a little later called like the Wall of Revolutionary Women, something like that. She is like the great, great granddaughter of one of the women on that wall. I also don't remember which woman was on that wall. Please forgive me again if you ever see this. But I thought that was really dope to see like a Freedom Fighters descendant like standing right there giving us this tour of this grand museum uh, dedicated to black people and our contributions to civilization. So here we have the line of continuity. It is showcasing the diaspora and all of the descendants of African people who are spread throughout the world. So whether you are in Jamaica or Colombia or Brazil, you know, you are, they have different people shown on this wall. Uh, there's Muhammad Ali. There's Angela Davis. So this is that wall. And then um, we're going to go through the rest of the museum. This was a jam-packed day. So we traveled to Dakar. I think it was like an hour or so from Sali, if I'm not mistaken. And then we went to the museum. After that, I think we stopped at a market. And then we grabbed a bite to eat. So they grabbed KFC and went through the drive through And I, of course, don't eat chicken. Neither does Naisha. So there was a pastry shop that I stopped in. And I got a little cheese pizza and like a chocolate dessert. Um, Naisha, I don't think she wanted anything. She may have ate some French fries. And then we headed on over to the African Renaissance Monument. And the videos don't do it justice. Like the scale, the, the magnitude of it can't be it can only be experienced in person okay and I'm not going to lie to you those steps took me out but the view was amazing <laughs> the view was amazing and we got some really really great footage of the monument uh pointing towards the Americans Bonjour. it is I again Torin Antoinette and this is our airbnb nobody is sleeping here but we have an extra room in case we meet someone and then this oh isn't she lovely the wind is blowing and i am here in my mood mood dress as my grandmother says 
It is beautiful. I will not step outside in my moon moon dress. This is the street. Look at the beautiful decoration. The plates, the ports, the silverware. If you don't like me talking like this, that is your problem, not mine. Here is a small restroom. The toilet we noticed is close proximity to a very nice shower. No curtain needs falls. And then here is my lovely bedroom. I saw it. I saw the bed. I saw it was big. And I said, Naisha, you must go. And I will take this room with the balcony because she moved very slow. And that was not my problem. It was raining earlier today, but you will never go, never tell that it was raining. And this is where I will shower here. I love the gray, love it. These are my little travel toiletries, conditioner, shampoo, mouthwash, body wash, mousse, deodorant and lotion and tweezers to get my brows as you can see they are becoming unruly i blink like i wink like i am in pain please forgive me and this here we're going to cut off Boom. have a little window I want to close this. It is marvelous, magnifique, magnifique. Inaisha is in her room sleeping. I will not bother her, but you see her there. We both were unwilling to take a shower, so we just sit on top of the bed um not under the sheets because that's what dirty girls do and we don't want to be dirty girls okay y'all so it's dinner time and it's dinner time and t's granny is trying to set us up but look at the bathroom so nice so i'm gonna tell y'all this restaurant is the bomb back home i, I twisted and turned turn it go like that Okay, let's go because everybody at dinner and I'm out here. Hello, thank you. To follow you to know me better. I got it if you want me to send it to you. I got it if you so want me to send it to me. So I want to introduce like, to me. Uh, the members of my family and my friends that are here. It looks delicious. Okay, so uh, it's uh, a big pleasure, you know, more than a pleasure to stand up here today and to uh, uh, have this meal. Um, I am full of joy. This is more than important to me. And I have a lot to say. I don't know where to start. Y'all, Asan said so much. Our food got cold. <laughs> but it was okay because it was like the whole purpose while we were there. And during the speech, it was so beautiful because what happened, Asan's mother didn't speak English. So they both took turns kind of telling their love story, how they met, um, introducing their families to one another. And Asan um, spoke English for everyone. And then T, as much as she could, spoke Wolof to his mother. And it was a beautiful thing to witness. After dinner, we went back to our Airbnbs to get some rest because the next day we were hitting Gory Island, which by the looks of it, you would have never known such a beautiful place has such horrific ties to the transatlantic slave trade. So we needed to rest and get our energy up.
I'll see you next week. Au revoir.